Welcome, it's Brian from Paradise Arcade Shop <clears throat> here with you again tonight. Um, John Pip at Rolly Electronics has released these new buttons. He's been selling these for some time now, but uh, they're a really nice button. They've got a great feel to them. Uh, and actually the micro switches on the bottom are not Sanwa, but can be swapped out for the Sanwa uh, buttons, which essentially makes these just like a Sanwa transparent button. These are snap-in buttons, they're not screw-in buttons, uh, but they just they just have a really nice feel to them and they really light up beautifully, which I'll show you tonight. John asked me to get on and make a small video showing uh, how to use the new Wheela pads, which are specifically designed for these buttons. So I wanted to show you guys how that uh, how that happens. So I have over here a Wheela pad, and I apologize, I'm not going to do the soldering in front of everybody, uh, but there are four points on a Wheela pad. And Wheela is actually lightning uh, in Hawaii. So we just thought it would be a fun name uh, since we're based here in Hawaii. Uh, you have your common, you have your red, you have your blue, and you have your green. And I do have to apologize, the green and the blue poles on these ones were actually labeled backwards. It doesn't affect the function, it's just you need to remember that when you're putting them together. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you solder um, anywhere from two to four wires on here. If you just want to solder the positive and then either the red, the green, or the blue, you can have this work as a red, green, or blue uh, pad without any other intervention. You don't need to have all of these soldered. If you want to have this just work as white, what you can actually do is run one lead over, say here to where the positive is, you can put one into the red, and you can add a little jumper from the red to the blue to the green and run everything off of these two wires. Now, um, you know, you, you can use an extremely thin wire. I mean, you only need about a 26 gauge. Each one of these grounds only carries 40 milliamps, which means the common is carrying at most 120 milliamps of current. So, the way this was designed actually was for the uh, Rolly button specifically uh, in mind. This wasn't just a generic pad that we made, we actually made it for this button. The way you open these buttons up and I have a nice set of needle drivers here, handy to pick up at any hospital, one of my favorite uh, arcade working tools. But they're just pretty handy for a lot of different reasons. <clears throat> you can take the button apart like this. You obviously have the top of the button. I've gotten this a little bit dirty, pulling it off and putting it back together a few times, so we'll clean it out a little bit there. But the wheel up pad is going to sit down in this area here around your micro switch. Now, there isn't anything that it specifically snaps onto, and there's a reason for that, is that we didn't really want to create something that pushed in or pressed in and was hard to get out. Uh, if you really want to attach it down in here, you can consider something like hot glue, or if you want to be more permanent, you could do something like epoxy. Uh, but the pad really doesn't have any force on it. So the first thing you're going to do is take two of the leads, I'll take the black and the green, which are next to each other, and put them down through one of these slots and these, there's two slots opposite each other where the button snaps down into. And you're just going to pull these all the way through. And what you'll see is the pad pulls into the button. And it sits down here, like this. So, at this point, you kind of have your pad halfway seated in. If I pull the wires a little bit more, I can actually sink the pad right down into the button itself. And you'll see it sits down in there now fairly nicely. Now all you have to do is take your other leads. Oops, we popped it back out there. So you just take your red and your white, and now you pass them through the through the opening on the opposite side. Now some people have asked us why we didn't put all of the red or all of the blues, and why we have two connections on one side and, and not all of the grounds in one spot and the positive in one spot. And the main reason for that is actually just to space this out more. It's uh, to make the, the button a little bit more symmetrical, make it sit in here and, uh, a little bit nicer so that it didn't look odd with three wires coming off one side of the board and, and one wire coming off the other side. Now if you look at this, now that I've got these wires pulled out each side, the pad just wants to sit down in here. Now, this is what I talked about. So you can either uh, put some hot glue on there to just attach it down in, or what we've actually been doing is just, you can take your wires and just push them around the outside. And if you hold them, and you just pull the wires around the outside, you actually get the pad held in there pretty well. 
then if you pull your wires back together and you tie them down, you now have you put one uh, small zip tie here, and you now have a wheela that is held in place uh, fairly firmly out of the way uh, with really no attachments. Now, anywhere you want to drop a little bit of hot glue on this, you can, and that'll secure it down. That's nice and easy to do. Now, we didn't put uh, point. We didn't put standard headers on here because we wanted to make this something that could slide in just the way I showed you. And now you'll see if we put the button back together, there's no modification needed to the actual button housing. And there's plenty of room for the wires to travel out below the travel of the button on both sides. You don't have to worry about that hitting at all. And then on the inside, you can't really see this from here, but you don't really have to worry about this actuation hitting the pad. So it fits right in there. Now, the next question is, what does something like this look like? So, since we have it all hooked up, let's get uh, let's pull in our voltage supply here. Now, as I mentioned, I have the white wired to the common. The common on this is positive, and these all take 5 volts. So, if you hook the 5 volts up there, then I take the ground, and now whatever I hook the ground up to, that's the color that will show up. So if we start off with, say, a red, you get a nice brilliant red. If we then go to, say, the green connection, you can get a nice green. Sorry, that's me flickering on it. So a nice constant green. And obviously all the colors in between uh, you can get. So and then if you come up here and you connect the blue, you get a blue. And then you can do all your combinations of colors. So if we want to get a white and uh, an extremely bright white, because this is going to be 120 milliamps of current running through this uh, rather small button or, and uh, two LEDs. But you can see you get a nice bright white out of that. So that's basically the wheel up pad and how it gets hooked together. Um, the key things to remember are that the resistors are built into the pad. The pad is built for 5 volts of uh, power. You don't need to worry about current limiting. It's built into it. And you just want to make sure that you uh, connect your positive to the positive terminal. That's marked appropriately. Red is marked appropriately. And as I mentioned, there's a B and a G next to the blue and green, except that they're reversed. So the B is next to the green and the G is next to the blue, and I'd come up with some fancy reason as to why that was there, but it actually is just an oversight and a screen problem. So uh, that'll be addressed on future versions, but it doesn't affect the function of the board at all. If you have any questions, you can feel free to get in touch with myself or, or uh, John. Both of us are experienced at building uh, these items and taking care of them and uh, making sure they get installed properly. The board works well in any of the translucent buttons. You can use it in color or white buttons. I used it in a white button here to kind of show the uh, the variation of colors that you can have. But you can hook this up to a Sparky Junior board, an FG Widget board, really any board you want to, and can, and uh, get the controls that you want to get. Including, you can put these in and hook these up to a Pac64 LED controller, and uh, you can run a MAME setup that uh, controls these for RGB color. So again, if you have any questions, this is Brian with Paradise Arcade Shop. Thank you for watching tonight, and uh, have some fun with the games.